going to show you how to revise your answer before you submit a Google form. And the steps we're going to go through are creating a Google form, then inserting different types of questions. You can do multiple choice, short answer, drop down box, then choosing the answers that are required to be answered. Otherwise the, the form won't go through then allow them to revise answers before they submit. That's something you have to do on your part when you create the form. Then how to share, share the form, and then how to set up a place where to get your results, and then filling in the Google form, and then saving the link before you submit. That's like a really important thing because um, if you submit it, it's it's a nightmare to try to have them change. It's not such a big deal if you only have, let's say, 10 questions and they aren't that involved. But if you decide to do something that's really long and they have to go back and retype everything, that's not fun. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here by the apps. And you're going to click on apps and you're going to go to your drive. And then I'm just going to make sure I'm in the right um, Google sign in because I've signed into a couple different ones. So I'm making sure. And then, and then when I'm where I need to be, you go to the Google apps and you click there. And you should be able to find forms here or just go to your drive and which I kind of was already there and then you could just go to new and then you do show more and then you have your Google Forms. So we're going to I'm going to title it test. Oops. I'm going to title it test and then you could put a description learning Google Forms. I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay. And then <clears throat> your first thing I always like to know is their name. And it's kind of good to do first name, last name, because then you can go and you could sort it. First name. And it's going to be a short answer because they have to type their name in. And then you're going to make sure that it's required. So you're going to go right here. Click on it. Now you're going to add another question. And let's do last name. Oops. Again, it's going to be a short answer. And you're going to require it. And let's do add a question. Um, how about what grade are you in? And now you can see that you could do multiple choice. It's kind of defaulting it to multiple choice. They're pretty smart. And then actually it says freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. And so I'm just going to do add all. I'm also going to leave this other because if it's something I haven't put in, that allows them to type in. So then I'm just going to say it's required again. And now I'm going to do another question. And let's see. What are your favorite oops, favorite subjects? And again, it's really smart. It's telling me checkbox. So you can a checkbox will allow them to do a whole bunch and not just a multiple choice. So we're going to click here option one, PE, um, lunch, add option, science, mm, and And I am going to require them again. And then I'm going to make one more. And so that you can see, well, actually, you probably can figure out 
it doesn't have to be required. You can just, but if you go over here, you can, you can get crazy with, um, at, with adding an image. You can click here and add an image to things, but I'm just going to uh, add a video. Um, all those really cool things. Okay. So I'm done with it. And now I'm going to title it test. Okay. And, um, I'm pretty good. So I'm going to go up here to settings. So if you're going to give it to people that are not in Gmail, <clears throat> I'm just going to do edit after submit and I'm going to let them do as many times as they want limit. I'm not going to limit them to one response. And this seems to be like when people don't have Gmail. So I'm going to save it. Okay. Then right here you can click on it and you can preview and see what it, what it's going to look like when it goes out to them. So as you can see where it says red required all of those spots where it has required. And then you have to push the submit button at the end, but we're not going to do that right now. So I'm going to go back to here. So if you can see, this is like the live version. You can tell by like, there's nothing going on up here and then test. This is like your version. Okay. So what you're going to do over here is you're going to do sent. And there's lots of different ways you can send it. You can collect the email. You can do those things. Um, I like doing a link, which is right here. So you just do the link and then you shorten it and then you just, it kind of, and then you're just going to copy it. So now you have the link. So whenever you send it to somebody, I usually do an email and then I, I click it as a link in the email. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go back to my drive. I'm going to open up um, new and I'm going to make a Google sheet and so that I can save the information that I just copied. So right now I'm just going to, um, let's see, I'm just going to link it, post it right there because that's going to be my link and I'm going to name it link for form. Um, and then I'm going to put a uh, name of form and I'm going to do, um, so this is going to be called test. Now I'm also going to add right in here, um, revision link, and I'm going to show you that. Now this has to be on the end of the person who is filling out the form. So it's a little bit more complex, but just in case you wanted to know how to do it. So I'm just going to name this form. Oops. I always do that form practice. practice okay so I've got that so right now here is my link that I would give to uh, anybody that wants to fill out the form I usually embed it in an email but that's like really important okay so we're gonna go back I usually don't because I obviously already have their email if I'm sending it out to them. So I don't do that unless maybe you want to do that because you want, if they want to update their email, I'm not sure. Okay. So here's my test and actually let's pretend that I had the link and I went to it. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to fill it out. Let's see. Swimmer. I'm going to be a senior. One of my favorite. So here, as you can tell, like those circles, you can only choose one. That only allows you to choose one. Here, you could choose probably as many as you want. And then if you want to do other, um, let's see. Uh, I do love math. Okay. So now it's submit. You're going to go to submit. Now, because you, as the creator, have allowed them to edit their response and also submit another response because you're not allowing 
they're allowed, they're allowed to go back <coughs> and submit a couple times and I can show you how to delete um, copies of what they duplicates of what they put. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to go to edit response. This is the trickier part, edit response. And when you go there, you've got this URL up here. Now this again is only for in the individual. So I'm going to copy it and then look right here. It says, it says you're editing your response. Sharing this URL allows others to. So what I'm doing is I'm copying that so that I have it already. Okay. And before I close out, I'm going to go back to that form I created and I'm just going to click it right there and put that link in there. Okay. So I'm going to pull this over so we can kind of see. So if I ever need to go back and edit that response, ooh, long. Okay, so let me show you something. So I'm not sure you know, but if you click up here and you go to data, no, nope, not data, format, you go to text wrapping and just do wrap and then it kind of puts it all in there. This one's short, so I don't think we need to do it. So the only reason to do this is if you, as the person that's filling it out, Think, oh my gosh, I might need to go back. I've typed so much work in, so you do that. You kind of have to be a little bit tech savvy. Okay, so we're gonna go back to here. Oops, and so uh, right here. So I filled these things out, and now I'm gonna do submit. So once I do submit and I get out of this screen, this screen I'm can never get this link back. So let's say, oh my gosh, you know what? I, there's something else I wanted to add. So before you get out of the screen, you can push edit your response and then I can go back and I can say, um, I want to do math and reading. Okay. So then you can go back to submit and you're done. And it's done this. So we go back here and let's see. Let's just do submit another response because now you know you're out and you can't get in there again. <coughs> so you're going to go back. Uh, let me. S so we're going to go back to our form then. So we have one response. That was me because I filled it out. But what we're going to do is we're going to go responses and over here is a spreadsheet. So right now it's just kind of showing you the way the information, but if you like the spreadsheet, you click here and then you just create new spreadsheet and just do create and it will create it for you. It pops right up. So right now you can see that I put all my information in there, which is really, really cool. Okay. So we've got that. Let's see. We're just going to go back, we're going to leave that open. We're going to go back to this form where I saved my URL and let's see, we're going to copy it. So, all right, I guess I'll do it up here to show you. Copy, I usually just do it the shortcut. Copy it. Okay, so now let's go and open up a new window. Let's click on here. Let's do paste. And then push enter and let's see what happens. And there I am. I came right back to it and I can edit it. So I think that's really, really pretty cool feature. Okay, so we're gonna come back to my original. Anyway, hope that worked for you.